Hi, it's Kathleen from Sunny Mountain Patterns. I'm going to show you how to extract PDFs uh, that came with layers, presumably, in Inkscape, but how to turn off the layers in Inkscape without doing much manipulation. So we're going to go to File, Import, or Control-I, or Command-I, and uh, this is going to work with an A0, mostly because you'd have to run a tile through the PDF stitcher that Charlotte Curtis made. It's available in the, in the projector for sewing, Facebook group for free. So you have to select which page you want to do. So you have to do this one per, per page. I'm just going to do the first page. Actually, I'm going to do the second page because there's less stuff on it. And everything else is going to be the same. And I'll say, okay. So I'm going to zoom out. Now you're going to notice here that I have a bunch of stuff and these are all the layers. Uh, but if you look down here in the layer box, there's only one layer because it doesn't import layers uh, in Inkscape. But you can go to object and press objects and a window will pop up and it will show you all of the all of the objects in that layer. So you're going to have to expand this, which is the file. Now all of these things with text is all of my all of my notices. We're going to scroll down until we see actual naming conventions. So I don't know what it's going to name it when you open up your version in Inkscape. These are pretty much all the sizes. So you can turn them on and off, not turn them on and off, view them and unview or hide them by pressing the eyeball. <laughs> it sounds wrong. <laughs> but you can see that I'm um, starting to hide some of the sizes. The thing is, for this, you have to know which size it is because it doesn't label uh, these pieces because it's just importing a PDF, which is a static image, basically. So you're going to have to, in conjunction with the size um, size guy that comes with the pattern, turn on and off what you do and do not want. If you'd like to change the line thicknesses or the um, color, Notice that all of the pieces that are together in the same color are held together. So say I want to make this a little bit darker because this is quite light as is. You can go up to Object, Fill in Stroke, or Shift Control F, and a window will pop up, hopefully <laughs> will pop up, and you can go to Stroke Paint. We have to do something first. I forgot. You have to highlight. We're going to highlight both of these. Might as well do them at the same time by shifting and clicking. You need to go to Path and Object to Path. There we go. Basically, this wasn't a path before. I was just reading it as an object. Um, if you can do it without doing that, go ahead and try it. If not, go go ahead and change it to a uh, path. We can click on one of the paths and then change the color. So this is going to be a dark color. If you want to use the color scheme down here, you have to press Shift and then click on the color. The reason being, if you just click on a color, for example here, it it's going to do the fill. So no fill is the X, right? Aha. So now you have to actually click it. It says it's no path, but that's a lie. It's got a color. So we can select whatever color you want. Um, if you don't like this color scheme and it doesn't work, doesn't make sense to you, you can change to a wheel. The wheel's a little hard to use because it's quite tiny. Uh, but say I wanted that to be a dark red. And then now you can see how this slider, I can move to the left to be really dark. Or you can make this all black. It's your choice. So once you have this done, you can, uh, you're probably going to want to have this either projected to your projector as is. Um, I've heard from Marta Godinskaya that you can just project this as is and then change the zoom, which is in the lower right hand corner by typing in the zoom level. And that will work pretty equivalently to having a PDF. However, if you wanted to keep these features, you're going to have to do a few things before you print out a PDF. First off, you're going to have to realize that a PDF printed from this will not do layers. It will only come in exactly as it's shown, like it took a snapshot. Second off, you're going to have to change this little paper rectangle that showed up originally, which I will move this and hopefully you can see this. In that case, you want to go to File, Document Properties or Shift Control D and change the, so it shows a border. You definitely want a border right now because you want to know where the PDF is going to print. And we want to make uh, this quite large. So in my experience, say 250 inches 
will probably work quite well. Oh, 50. You don't have to make it so large. I mean, you just big enough to accommodate the piece plus some um, some panning. So, you know, we could probably make it like 50 inches. Right now, I'm totally guessing. You don't have to press OK. It automatically resets it. So you can see here, this is the page border. And we can just move all of these in here. You just want a lot of, uh, in this case, it's a quick and dirty. You just want a lot of panning room. So this is, of course, not how I do my patterns because I have a whole uh, thing that I do with sufficient space, lots of border, bigger font, thicker lines. Um, I actually have a course teaching designers how to do this so it's very easy to use. But this is a quick and dirty way if you have an A0 or you've already stitched together the pattern pieces and you want to just isolate the pieces and you haven't got the newest version. Or you, for example, need to do some things on uh, Inkscape to do some drafting and you want to save it. So now that we have this big page, page uh, you can get rid of the things you don't need like that, uh, the calibration squares, because it's going to show up all together. And then just do a save as or save a copy. I I don't know the difference, to be honest. And we're going to save it at, down here as a PDF, a portable document folder. So I'm going to say this is a tester, a zero conversion. And we're gonna save this. It's gonna come up with a window and ask you what version to use. I, I don't know the differences between them. I've always had luck just keeping this as is. So you just say, okay, this is essentially what you can do to limit to only certain sizes if you're importing PDF and you cannot distinguish between the layers. Mm -hmm.